Welcome to another Happy English Podcast coming to you from New York City. And here's your English teacher, Michael. All right. Thank you, Johnny. Thanks, everyone. This is Happy English Podcast, episode 469. Set phrases with at. This is the last episode in a three part series on the preposition at. Last week, in episode 468, we studied phrasal verbs and idioms that contain at. For today's English lesson, we're going to look at other set phrases and expressions that use at. Are you ready? Let's get started. We use the phrase at all or not at all to emphasize that something never happens or will never happen. At all is always used in a negative sentence. For example, do I eat raisins? Not at all. I don't like dried fruit. Jack doesn't drink at all. So whenever we go out, he drives. At first means in the beginning. For example, at first, Kim really enjoyed her job at the bank. But after a few weeks, she realized it wasn't a good fit for her. At first, he started his business as a food truck, and now he has restaurants all over the country. When someone is at it, they are doing some kind of behavior that bothers or offends another person. We usually say that someone is at it again. The pronunciation is usually at it. Someone is at it again. For example, I hear fighting coming from my neighbor's house. It looks like they are at it again. It seems like Jack is at it again. He came home smelling like alcohol. Next, at last means finally or after some long delay. Here are some examples. We waited at the station for 30 minutes and at last the train came. The package my mother sent me arrived at last. International shipping sometimes takes a long time. Next, we have at least. At least has two meanings. First of all, at least means no less than when we talk about the quantity of something. For example, We need at least three people to lift this table. You should add at least a dash of salt to give this soup some flavor. We also use at least when we have something positive to say about a negative situation. For example, it's snowing very hard, but at least it's not windy outside. The food in that restaurant wasn't good, but at least the waiter was nice. At most is the opposite of at least. At most means no more than when we talk about the quantity of something. For example, it will take you five minutes at most to walk to the park. It's not that far away. It's not a big city, So you can see all of the important sites in three or four days at most. Next, let's look at at once. At once also has two meanings. First of all, at once means immediately or very soon from now. For example, please come here at once. There's an important issue we need to discuss. That man fell on the street. Call an ambulance at once. At once also means simultaneously. For example, with computers these days, you can have several applications opened at once. I can't move all of these packages at once. I'm going to need to make three trips. And finally, we use the phrase, where it's at, in casual conversational English, to mean something or somewhere is fashionable or or modern. For example, in addition to the GPS, 
My new iPhone has facial recognition technology. It's where it's at. I think New York City is where it's at. You can see all of the latest trends there. Well, that's it for this English lesson. I hope you enjoyed this series of lessons on the preposition at. If you want to read the examples in this lesson or get word for word transcripts of the Happy English podcast, just visit myhappyenglish.com and check lesson 469. And don't forget to check out my YouTube channel at Happy English NY. Hey, thanks for studying, and I'll see you next time at Happy English. This podcast was brought to you by Happy English. Please visit myhappyenglish.com. Show your support for Happy English by leaving us a review. Get English. Get happy. Happy English. Happy English.